Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Mm, I think, yeah, I think so, so. <laughs> so, so, uh, why? Do you feel sick? Um, a little uh, cough. Oh, yes. all right, okay. But mm. ready for this week? Yes, ready. <laughs> the, I saw the message. What is the surprise? <laughs> ah, I will tell you. I will tell you. Just <laughs> let's wait your classmates. Okay, welcome yeah. to the class. And, and how was your weekend? Um, good. And uh, Saturday, I told you, uh, celebrated um, birthday, daughter, um, friends, daughter's mm. friends. <laughs> I'm confused. Es cumpleaños de, mi, de la mía, mi hija. Okay. Uh, daughter's, daughter's, your birthday. daughter's friends. Your my daughter's friends. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Saturday. And Pikachu. Mm -hmm. The weather is it was nice. So you enjoyed your weekend basically. Yes, yes. Uh, the children I reventar piñata. Okay, they kick piñata. They the kick piñata, uh, piñata of the Mario Bros. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's cute. Yes. Okay, interesting. Nice. Well, I'm glad you enjoy your weekend. So that's great. How about you guys? How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? I, um, I'm a bit right now, but I try to uh again. And I need to tell you that um Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh -huh. I will work um oh uh, I will walk work at night. <gasps> Do you have a night shift? Yeah, for three years. No, for three days. Ah oh. I, I will work. <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness at night. night oh all right i understand i understand so thanks for telling me um okay. but could you connect at least as a listener just yes. for the minutes yes okay ah, okay yes please okay. do it mm -hmm. okay. yeah no problems thanks for telling me okay all right hey everyone uh, i already sent the correct link <laughs> so did the link send you to another class again? <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, I I will notify that. I don't know why they sent another link. I'm sorry for the confusion. Um, so guys, um I recommend you guys to keep the link, save the link. Uh you can resend the link to your friends or something, or keep the, the link uh, so you can enter to the correct one. Okay, I know that is kind of tedious, but try to do it, okay? Um, so what else, what else? How was your weekend, everyone? Anyone else? How was your weekend? What do you do? Anything interesting? No, anything? All right, well, <laughs> welcome everybody and thank you so much for being on time. Thank you for the one who has the camera on already. I'm glad to see you again. It's Monday. I know that is the beginning of the week. I know that Mondays are difficult, but here we are guys and I hope you are ready to participate. I know uh, maybe you feel tired. I know that the beginning of the week is difficult, but, but uh, let's try, okay? 
think about uh, August week. August is closed, so that means vacations. All right, think about it. Today, we are starting the week number four. That means, guys, one more week and the level is over, okay? So are you ready to go to the next level? Yes. yes. Ah, excellent. Or do you want to repeat intermediate four? No. No, all right. <laughs> okay, very good. So let's start, everyone. I'm going to share the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. yes. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, so today is July 17th. And this is the week number four. Today we are going to, well, we are going to have a review. But later, if we still have time, we are going to start the unit number three. Okay. Um, this is the topic for today. Midterm review and practice and uh, i don't know if you read my message um but i have a surprise do you want to know the surprise i don't know define surprise is good or, or bad uh depends on the point of view <laughs> i mean from my point of view is is good but i don't know from yours but let's read um, the class objective, and I think that you will find out what the surprise is. Um, volunteer for reading, please. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, participants will review important topics studied during the pre pre previous class in order to be able to answer correctly a quiz. <laughs> Surprise! What is the surprise, everyone? The quiz. Yay! <laughs> no, so today we are going to have. It's not a good surprise. It is. No. <laughs> Why not? I said that it depends on the point of view. <laughs> Ah, uh, come on. Look, it is not a, how can I say this? It is just a quiz, okay? In this case, guys, uh, just try to answer correctly. This is just to see if you understood the topics. This is just to see if we are, you know, doing well, or if it is necessary to reinforce some areas. Okay, so um, if you get zero, <laughs> I mean, it's not going to affect your final score. This is just to see, guys, how much you have understood the topics. Okay, and again, you don't need to copy <laughs> the answers. I mean, just try to answer as you remember. Okay, because Again, this is just to see if you have understood the topics. Got it? Yes? Understood, everyone? Okay, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Okay, but no worries because before that, let's have a review. Let's review some of the most important topics that we have studied in the previous three weeks, okay? And I'm going to ask questions only about those topics okay so can you remember guys some of the topics that we have studied during the past three weeks which topics do you remember uh-huh for example the uh, seven r seven hours the seven R's, yes. Uh, GPL. Mm -hmm. Mentors. What else? Review. Review simple past. Review the simple past. Connectors. Ah, very Review. good. Uh, phrase for give my opinion. Correct. 
Do you remember when we say something like, mm, I don't know yet, or I'm 100% sure? Certainly, Absolutely. You know, certainly. That's the one. Channels? Correct, correct. Do you remember when we say something like, ah, he is as tall as his friend? Ah, Mexico is as dangerous as Colombia. Oh, Do you remember that topic? Ah, that is the one. So, you see, you remember it. That's great. This quiz will be easy for you guys. You will see that. Let's start reviewing these topics, certainty and uncertainty expressions. Do you remember this topic? I'm sure about it. I'm not yes. sure about it. <laughs> My goodness. Sure about it. <laughs> okay, I like that you are sure about it, but I listen to some of you say, mm, not sure. Okay, let's see. I have here, guys, different expressions. Some of these words represent certainty, and some of these words share uncertainty. So I want you to divide these words in the correct category. So which of these words do you think will be in here in the certainty category? Doubtless. Which one? Doubtless. Okay, doubtless. What else? Of course. Of course. Obviously. Possibly. Obviously. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Naturally. 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 Mm, okay. So how about? Family. Okay. And how about in uncertainty? Apparently. Supposedly. Okay. Supposedly. All right. Probably. Supposedly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, presumably. 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 Mm -hmm. Impossible. All right. Impossible. Possibly. Look. Right. right. Very good. So, yes, yeah, certainty. We have certainly, naturally, of course. That is one of the most common ones. Obviously, doubtless. And the other ones goes in the center T. When you don't feel sure about it. Ah, supposedly possibly okay so those are the differences is it clear yes yes teacher mm -hmm. doubtless uh, sin duda yes exactly ah, okay mm -hmm. is it clear the meaning for these words everyone yes yes so if I ask you this in the exam, easy, right? Uh, ah, come on. <laughs> okay, so that is one of the topics that we studied. Now, another topic that we studied is the seven R's. Can you tell me the seven R's? By product. By product. Uh -huh. By product. Okay. By place. Mm -hmm, okay. Right. Like quality. Right. Okay. Quantity. All right. Customer. Right quantity. Very good. Okay. You already mentioned a lot of them. And yes, look, we have okay. right product, right. right place, right customer, and right. Da, 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 da. Okay. So imagine that I ask everyone, what, what do you think? What is the meaning of a right Quantity. What is that? Is when you sell as uh, some products and you give the you you give the correct amount. Mm, very good. Excellent. How about guys mm, the right product? What is that? Do you remember? When the companies offer a, a offer a, the price of a product is no cheaper, not expensive, a, the product a, 
Right. Okay. It's exactly what you need, right? So, is it clear the meaning every one of the seven R's? Yes? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Are you sure? Yes. Can I ask you this in the quiz? Yes. Yes. Okay. Maybe. Certainly. <laughs> Certainly. Certainly. Very good. Very good. Certainly. I, I, I listened to someone saying, maybe. Uh, come on. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, we studied another topic, comparison. Remember that when we talk about comparison or comparative adjectives, we have different options. We have the comparative adjectives when we express superiority. And is when we say, ah, El Salvador is bigger than, well, it's more popular than Guatemala, for example. So that is superiority, okay? There is inferiority, then is when we use the word less, right? Ah, this is less popular than this. And there is the comparison of equality, okay? This is the same. Ne no, I mean, none is higher, no one is smaller. This is the same. And we use as, then the adjective, and then as. If I want to use this kind of comparison, do I need changes in the adjective? What do you think? No, no. Uh, the adjective uh, is uh, the left and the form infinitive. Exactly, basic form. For example, can I say, ah, my car is as fast there as yours? Can I say that? As faster? Mm -hmm. No, you cannot. No. No, right? The correct one is then, as then, fast. Then. Mm, can I use then? No. As it's fast. faster than. Faster fast. than. I mm. fast than. No. It's in this case, exactly. In this case, ah, guys. It's comparison. Ah, it's comparison. Yes. Yes. Ah, yes Look, yes, yes. we just use yes. as, as, as. As. Right. So let's have a practice. If you see, this is a box that we check uh, in the manuals, right? And this is the structure that you need to follow. Getting the right product is, and look at this, we have as, then the adjective. The adjective doesn't need changes. And then we repeat the word as. Look, as important as, and then we continue with the sentence. In this scenario, we don't use then, okay? Ah, because you are uh, comparing, compared some, uh, the same. Yes. The same thing. Basically, yes. Yeah, yes. Basically, In this yes. case, guys, remember that we are comparing, look, we can compare people, objects, ideas, but that in some way they are the same, okay? You can do it in negative. What happens if I want to say a sentence in negative using as, as? What do I need to do? Where do I need the negative form? Less. Before no. the first as. Uh -huh. What do I need to add? Add not. not. Exactly. As simple as I that. If I'm you not, want to say uh, it in negative, guys, easy. You just need to say not. My distributors are not as fast as, fast, as, as the ones. ones you're partnered oh, with. Okay? okay. If I ask you this in the quiz, easy or difficult? Hey, yes, it's okay. Okay, and the rest of you guys? Okay, we're going to have a practice, but before continuing, I'm going to check attendance. So everyone, when you listen to your name, say present. Ana Lorena? Present. 
present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander. No voy a pasar que voy a abrir. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. All right. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Very good. Elias Neftali. I think he's listener. Okay. Eulice Torres. Present. Very good. Um, Jose Salvador. Very good. Okay. Um, Josman Atilio. Present. Okay. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Nelson Alberto. Present. Okay. Osman Enrique. Present. Very good. Pamela Molina. Present. Thank you. Uh, Rafael Alexander. Present. All right. Santiago Roberto. Present teacher. All right. And Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Let's continue then. Let's have a quick exercise about the comparison as as. I have here different sentences. Let's just complete the sentence. For example, look at the first one says, this book is, I have to say the sentence in negative and I have to use the adjective exciting. So what would be the complete sentence? What do you think? This book is not exciting as that book. Okay, exciting as. What do you think, guys? This book is not exciting as that book. Is that correct? Uh, no. no. This book is no. as not exciting. Okay, I'm going no, to no, write this, it. This book is not as exciting as that, that that's book. Okay, this book is not as exciting as that book, like this? As that book, correct, correct. Okay, everybody, yeah. do you agree? I agree. I agree. Yes, that's the correct I one. Agree. Remember, if it is negative, we just need to add the word no. not. And remember, we need twice the word as. As, adjective, as. as. Mm -hmm. That's all. How about the number two? Apples are, and I have the delicious. adjective delicious. Yes? As apple, delicious, as apple are as delicious uh -huh. as pears. 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 So look at this one. I have as, as, as. and the adjective. Okay? okay? Do you have any questions so far, everyone? No questions, are you sure? No question. Okay, let me ask individually. Uh, let me start to ask Nelson. Nelson, can you answer the number three, please? Okay. That is in negative. She's not as famous as her mother. Okay, look at this one. Not as famous as, is that correct, everyone? Yes. Yes. Sure. Totally. Yes. Very good. Nelson, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Carlos Humberto. Thank you. Okay, Carlos. Number four. Be careful with the microphones. Uh huh, Carlos. Hello. Carlos Alberto Ernesto. Uh, Alberto, I guess. Uh, Nelson? Yo leí un Humberto. <laughs> sorry. There, there is no one no, like fue that. Ernesto. Ah, okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, Carlos Ernesto. <laughs> okay. Um, number four. Four, yes. Kelly is not, not as generous as her sister. 
All right, look at this. It's not as generous as. Again, guys, if it is negative, you just need to add the word not. Always you need as, as. And the adjective is in the middle with no changes. Again, you don't need the word then. Okay, it's not necessary, okay? Um, Carlos, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Pamela. Carlos. Pamela, okay, Pamela, number five, please. Um, Richard is as tall as Daniel. All right, is as tall as Daniel. Very good. So look, no changes in the verb. You just need to word as, as. That's it. Is it clear, everyone? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, Santiago, can you give me the last one, please? Number six, in negative. Uh, in negative, this task is uh, uh, not as difficult as the one before. Very good. Look, it's not as difficult as. Again, that is the correct structure, and that's the only things that you need to do if you want to compare using as, as. Easy? Yes, everyone? Any questions about yeah, this yeah, topic? Okay. If I ask you this in the quiz, it will be easy? Yes. I saw this. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I know that I will see very good scores. Okay. I like that. Okay. One of the other topics that we reviewed and you mentioned is when we were talking about outsourcing. Okay, and we talked a little bit about the 3PL, okay? What is the meaning of 3PL, do you remember? Third party logistics. Excellent, very good. We studied three, right? And we studied the differences. What was the first one? What is the characteristic of the first, uh, first PL? Delivery is directly to the customer. It Very good. Necessary, uh, extra company. Correct. That is the one. Remember that in the first PL, guys, the company does all the job. As your classmate mentioned, they don't need another company. Okay. They make the product and they do all the process until the product gets to the awesome. customer. How about the number two? Hmm, what is the difference? Uh -huh. They only need source delivery company. Very good. They do most of the job. They manufacture, pack, stores, but they need outsourcing. They need outsourcing for delivery. Okay. Nice. And in the third one, what is the characteristic of the third one? Anyone? Do you remember? Okay. The company, the company mm -hmm. is the company need, need the, 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 the other company, the other companies and mm -hmm. transport and parking when we're, we're housing, uh, full, full men too. All right, look at this one. It basically here guys, the company does maybe only manufacturers, right? And then they need more companies. Sometimes they need, delivery, warehousing or packaging. So they need extra companies to help them to produce the product, okay? So basically that is the difference between the first, second and third PL, Patty Logistics. Is it clear? 
Everyone? Yes? Yeah. Thank Teacher. you. Teacher. Yes? Only uh, I have a, a doubt because a I doubt? don't remember uh, a doubt. What mm -hmm. do you mean? Fulfillment. 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 Do you remember the meaning of this word, guys? Fulfillment. Okay, fulfillment is like when we say satisfaction. Okay, so in this case, when we are talking about fulfillment, we are talking about the satisfaction of the customer. Okay, understood? Okay, teacher, yes. Excellent. Okay, if I ask you this in the quiz, easy, right? Yes. Easy? Excellent. Yes. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay. Then we studied simple past. Do you remember the simple past? Yes. Did you, did you review the verbs? Yes, I did. Ah, okay. Did you practice the pronunciation of the regular verbs? The t, the, no, and I is? No, I didn't. Ay, why? And you guys, did you practice the pronunciation? A little bit. A little bit, okay. Well, let's review it, okay? I'm going to give you a list of verbs and you have to tell me what will be the correct pronunciation. Let's do it together, okay? Let me open up the exercise and let me choose the correct one. For example, the first verb that I have here is score. So scoring pass, what will be the right sound? Scored or scored or scored? What do you think? Scored. 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 This one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Definitely. Okay, later we are going to see the answers and let's see how many correct answers you have. How about jump? Jumped. Jumped. Like this one? Jumped? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Yes, yes I am. Yes. Okay. How about like? Liked. Liked. With the... Like this? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now I will be asking individually. Let me ask to Rafael. Rafael, how about the verb and? Ended. Like this one? Ended? I guess. Okay. Pick one of your classmates, please. Um, Edwin. Okay. Edwin, the verb clean. Cleaned with the... Like this? Yes. Okay. Pick one of your classmates, please. Um, Carlos. Which one? Dominguez. Okay, Carlos, the verb want. Went. Uh -huh. Can you repeat? Went. Lady, went. Yes. Okay. Okay, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Josman. Okay, Josman. The verb is fix. Fix it. Fix it, like this? Yeah. Okay, pick one of your classmates, please. Mm -hmm. Jose Salvador. Okay, Salvador. Uh, I'm not sure if he's listener, I guess. Okay. Um, Osman Hernandez. Okay, Osman, the verb is fry. Fry. Yes, fry the. Fried, like this? Fried. I, I think so. <laughs> okay, pick one of your classmates, please. 
Pamela. Okay, Pamela, the verb cry. Um, cried with the... Like this? Yes. Okay, pick someone, please. Um, Wilbur. Okay, Wilbur, the verb work. Uh, work uh, with tick, I think so. I'm with? not sure. With tick. Like yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Pick someone, please. Mm. Eulise. Okay, Eulise, the verb ask. Someone. Someone. Um, I'm not sure about it, but as 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 red as as red red con d with d? d yes like this ask d uh i'm not sure but that's okay it's okay it's a practice <laughs> no worries it's a practice um pick one of your classmates please Uh huh. Excuse me. Um, let me see. It doesn't matter if if they uh, repeat. Lorena. <laughs> okay, Lorena. The verb watch. Watched for with tea. Like this? Yes. Okay. Lorena, pick someone. Osman. Okay, Osman, start. Start it. D. D? Yeah. Okay. Who's missing? Who hasn't answered? I think Carlos Ernesto, did you already name one bear? No, right? What? Play. What is the correct pronunciation for play? Played. With D or T? I think D. D, like this? D, D, D. I think me. Do you think David? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, who's next? Who's next? I don't know who hasn't answered. Kevin, mix. Mixed. T, like this. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. I think everybody already passed. Well. Let's repeat. Uh, volunteer for clap. What do you think, clap. guys? Me. Clap. Uh -huh. clap. Clap. Light. With tea? Yeah. Okay. And how about dry? Dry. 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 Okay. Yeah. So this is like a practice. So are you sure that your answers are correct? Yes? No. Why not? Do you want to change? Could be. Which ones? Want it. Oh, do you want to want? Do you want to change want? Yeah. So what is the correct one for want? The last one. Like ED? Wanted. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, are they correct? Or do you want to change another one? Fix. Mm. Mm. Fix. Okay. Tomatoes. Yeah. Fixed. Like this? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, is there anyone else that you want to change or now we are ask, fine? Ask, 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 with the. Okay, like this? Ask. Yes. yes. What? Okay. Start. 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 What it. happens with the start? start. 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 Like this? Started? Yeah. Start. yeah. Okay. Hey. Mix club. So we find yes. 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 Okay. Let's see if your answers are correct. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Okay. Look at this. Correct. 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 Look at this one. It's perfection. Ah. <laughs> Very good. That's the score that I want to see in the exam. Okay. So remember, everyone, for the ones who can have some doubts, what is the rule when we are pronouncing the verbs? How can I know if I'm going to say it with t, the, or is? What's the rule? What is the tip? What do you think? About the variation. Uh -huh. So the first thing that you need to do is identify the last sound of the verb. Okay? For example, like. The last sound that we listen is like. And when we make that sound, I mean, we don't feel vibration, right? If you don't feel vibration on your vocal cords, that means that you will pronounce it with t. Mm. Exactly, t. The opposite, what happens if you feel vibration? For example, clean. What is the last sound that you hear? Clean. Mm. Mm. Do you feel vibration? Clean. Yes. Sure. Yes. So if you feel vibration, you had to pronounce it with the. And we are going to say cleaned. Cleaned. Now, with the rest of the verbs, it's pretty easy. If they end in D or in T, automatically you you don't even need to see if you feel vibration or not no automatically if the last sound is d or t you need to pronounce it as a id so we say ended wanted got it yes, yes. is it clear yes any questions so far about the pronunciation of the regular verbs? No. no? Can, can you give me uh, the link of this exercise, teacher, please? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to send it on WhatsApp group. So guys, if at the end of the class you want to practice, you can do it. Let me send it. Okay, I already sent it on WhatsApp's group. Any questions so far about the topics that we just reviewed? No, not questions? Are you sure? Okay, if you don't have questions, well, let me show you. It's time for an exam. <laughs> We are going to have this, um, this quiz. Again, I don't want you to copy. I don't want you to ask your classmate through WhatsApp, right? Hey, what is the answer in this one? No. Nani. Okay. Don't copy. In this case, remember, I just want to see how much the topic has been assimilated. How much you understood the topics. Okay, and if I see that uh, most of you have mistakes in one topic, that means that that is a topic that we need to try to study a little bit more. 
Okay. We are going to have this quiz here in the class. Uh, let's see. Can you see what I'm sharing right now, everyone? Yes. Okay. Yes. This is the quiz. The first things that you need to do is to write your full name. Okay. Not your first name, not your last name, your full name. Okay, so for example, in my case, Clarissa, Betsabe, Rivera, Escobar. Okay, full names. After the full names, clicking next, and you will find different um, sections. The first section in the exam is about certainty and uncertainty expressions. I have two columns here. You just have to choose the category for each word. For example, of course. Hmm. If you think that of course is for certainty, okay, click in certainty. Hmm. But if you think now nah, of course is for uncertainty, okay, click in uncertainty. So basically that is the first part. Is it clear? Yes? Yes. Cool. Then you just have to click in next. Next. The next part is pretty easy. This is about the seven R's. I'm not going to ask you every single one, but I have different examples here. I remember that we studied these examples in the class. Read the example. Remember what I always say, the key words so you have to read these okay grocers has to meet a quantity requirements and da, 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 da. so according to that example you have to decide hmm is this about the right product mm, yes if you think that is about the right product click here if you think mm, no i think that is the right price okay click in right price you decide okay so read carefully my recommendation is to identify the key words is it clear this part yes okay when you finish this section clicking next the next part is the comparatives. In this scenario, guys, you just need to write the sentence exactly as we did in the exercise before. Um, don't use contractions, okay? You can write the sentence in with the capital letters or in lowercase. If you want, add the last point or not, <laughs> it's optional, okay? So if it says not, it's because the, neg uh, the sentence is in negative and this is the adjective that you need to use. Is it clear, this part? Teacher, in this case, uh, we need to uh, read all the sentence completely or only the, the section? All of the sentence. You just have to rewrite the full sentence. For example, in this case, you can say, ah, uh, Peter is, and then you continue with the answer, right? Da, 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 and then Fred. And okay. if you want, you can add the point or not. It's up to you. But you have to write the full sentence. Got it? Yes? Yes, teacher. OK, then clicking next. I know that you might be thinking, ay, que largo, right? Nah, guys, but it's pretty easy, okay? It's just about the topics that we just studied. Uh, I have here some examples, and you just have to decide what kind of a uh, party uh, logistic is this one. For example, ah, business, manufacturing TV, and ta, 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 ta. Ah, I think that is first party logistic. Okay, click in there. Or no, I think that is a second. Okay. Or no, I think that is a third one. I don't know. You decide which one do you think is the correct one. Clear this part? Yes? Yes. No questions so far? No. Okay. And in the end, guys, the last topic that we are going to review is the pronunciation of the regular verbs. I have here some verbs. 
just tell me which is the correct sound or the correct pronunciation. Play. I think that play is t. Plate. Okay. No, I think that is played. Hmm, okay. Or no, I think that is played. Okay. I don't know. So you decide what the correct pronunciation is. Understood? Yes. In the end, you just have to click here in send. Una vez que le den enviar, ya no hay vuelta atrás. Okay. En este momento, si yo quisiera regresar, todavía puedo hacerlo, pero una vez que le den enviar, no turning back. So click in send. And when you send it, I automatically will receive your score, but also you will be able to see it. If you want to know how many correct answers you have, just clicking here, see punctuation or see the score. And in this case, here is going to tell you how many correct answers. In this case, eh, de un total de 23 preguntas, pues yo tuve cero. <laughs> right? Terrible. Yes, my goodness. <laughs> and if you <laughs> scroll <laughs> down, ve, ahí mismo les va a decir in which ones you have the mistakes. Okay? And it will show you the correct answer. Is it clear, everybody? Yes. It's clear. Thank Are you yes. ready, everyone? I didn't study, teacher, for this exam. <laughs> it doesn't matter, guys. <laughs> Remember that is it's just a practice, okay? So uh, we are going to start, everybody. Take your time. Uh, don't copy, as I mentioned before. This is basically just to verify how much we have understood the topics. Okay, just try to do your best, answer, read carefully, and do your best. Okay, if you have questions, I mean, I can help you to explain a little bit more, but I'm not going to give you the answers, okay? Um, I'm sending the link on WhatsApp's group, but also I'm sending it here in the chat. So open up the link, everybody. Write your full names and you can start. Go ahead. If you have questions, I can explain, but I'm not going to give you the answers. I will give you 20 minutes. Go ahead. Good luck. Uh, teacher, one question. I can. Uh, yes, go ahead. I am in my personal computer now, but uh, I use uh, my my corporation email. I think that is not going to ask for an email. I guess. Um. Uh, yes. Ah. It's the first stage. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter what email you use. It doesn't matter. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. You can use the email that you want, guys. It doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you write your full name, it's okay. Yeah, it ha yeah, you have the same problem too. I have it, doesn't, another... it doesn't matter. It doesn't you can matter. use, okay. yeah, use the email that you prefer. If you want uh, to use a personal, do it. If you want to use the one for your okay. job, it's all right. Mm -hmm. But uh, the full name is, uh, we write, full name, we'll write there. Yeah. It's your answer, it's your answer. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. The mm chair. -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's not necessary to uh, write the email. If it is asking you, yes. I mean, listen, guys. Eh, se supone que está programado para que no les pida correo. Pero si en dado caso se los pide, entonces sí van a tener que escribirlo. Si no los deja seguir el examen, sí van a tener que escribirlo. Si no se los pide, entonces, I mean, it's okay.
If you have questions or if you have an issue, let me know, please. Okay, one person Teacher. already finished. Teacher. Yes. En la parte tres se va a volver a escribir la oración. Yes, you have to write the full sentence again. You just need to add as as and the adjective that is in parentheses. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, one of your classmates already finished. Um, listen, cuando ustedes envíen el examen, les va a parecer como que el nombre está incorrecto, right? Como que si el nombre no tiene puntos, but it's because of that. I mean, el nombre no tiene puntos. So, okay. Por eso les va a parecer como que tienen una respuesta incorrecta, but it's because of that. Así que, if you have 22, ese equivale a un 10, okay? I can see two people already finished. All right. Very good, very good. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. If the mouse uh, don't check the answer and <laughs> I can um, see that in the moment and send the test. <laughs> yes, I can see your <laughs> test right now. Well, Sorry. I know the answer, but. Um, I know. Su humildad. I know that you are very humble, right? <laughs> That's why you, you need that answer like that. <laughs> It's okay, don't worry, don't worry. But it's a good score, actually. Very good job. Thank you. Okay, I can see three answers already. And I can see very good scores. You are ready for the next level, everyone. Excellent, excellent. It's time to rest. <laughs> no, it's time for the second part of the surprise. <laughs> what? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I decided to divide the surprise in two parts. If you have questions, just let me know, everyone. I can see very good scores. I like that.
in the written part, guys, uh, remember that, well, uh, the exercise is set, está configurado para un cierto tipo de respuesta, right? So sometimes if one letter is different or if you write capital letter or something, eso les puede dar como un error, okay? But in the end, ahí se pueden fijar en sus respuestas. If your answer is exactly the same, so your answer is correct, okay? Don't worry about it. In this moment, I can see six people already finished. Excellent. For the one who hasn't finished, you have time, guys. So don't worry, okay? Continue. You have time. Teacher, I finished este, uh, uh, well, what I have to do after finish the, ex the exam. Just send in send, click and enviar, and that's all. I did, it, I did it. Okay. And then? Uh, puede revisar su score, ahí donde dice ver mi score, and that's all. I automatically will receive your answer. De hecho, ya puedo ver su, su resultado. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> I, I mean, it's not so bad. I mean, it's good actually. Remember with the spelling guys, one letter is run. Yes. The exercise will be run. Where, where I can, where I can, where I can see my not. Oh, when you send the answer, Ahí le va a aparecer un mensaje que dice ver mi puntuación. Click there and you will see your results. Where teacher? Cuando le da clic en enviar, automáticamente le va a salir un mensaje que dice ver puntuación. Okay. O ver score. Mm -hmm. Click in there and you will see your answer. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. For example, 18... Click at 23. Ok, exactly. De 20, bueno, hice 23, 23 preguntas, pero en, en realidad son 22 porque el nombre no cuenta, right? Ok. So, de 22, usted sacó 18. Uh -huh. So, if you see, it's not so bad. I mean, it's good. Uh -huh. You have few answers incorrect, yes. I'm not that teacher. I had to better. <laughs> but you did it great. You did it great. Okay. Okay, everyone. I can see very good results. I can see nine people finished. All right. Very good. I finished, teacher. Excellent. Very good. So for the ones that are already finished, what do you think? Easy or difficult? Uh-huh. Easy, difficult, 50-50. What do you think? In one sentence uh, where uh, we had to write, uh, rewrite all the sentences, Yes. Uh, it, it was miss me uh, the word the word as yes but, but you miss I, one <laughs> but yes. in, in only one sentence mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i know mm -hmm. i know that's why guys and this is a recommendation when you are writing in english you have to be very careful because remember that in english only one letter can change the meaning of the sentence right only one letter one point is going to give you a mistake okay so be careful with that inclusive uh-huh
I can see 12 people already finished. And I can see very good scores, guys. Actually, all of the scores are good. I know that there are a few mistakes, but so far so good. I like that. What was the most difficult part for you? Mm -hmm. The verbs, the seven R's, the third PL, the comparison. What was the most difficult part for you? Everyone? Maybe I had to think a little bit more with the past sentence. Ah, okay, okay. Y eso que no les añadí listening, guys. <laughs> les iba a poner listening, but I thought, uh, muy largo, right? Go ahead. <laughs> Next yes, time, teacher, no you worry. Can. You may, you may. Yes, let's do another exam. What do you think? <laughs> Yes, you yes. See? why not? All right, I can see guys, 13 people already finished and I can see excellent scores, very good. I'll be absent for a little moment, teacher. Okay. Finish, finish teacher. Excellent, very good, very good. All right, so everybody, I can see 14 answers already. Uh, and I think that's all the answers that I will receive, porque creo que los que no lo van a enviar son los que están como listeners. So, let's talk about the exam. Um, I can see common errors, for example, in the typing, en la sección 3, donde tenían que escribir, right? But in this case, guys, the reason, a veces se están equivocando por el typing. Okay. Porque repente... Yes. A mí me pasó que, que el teléfono me hizo autocorrección y <laughs> no me fijé. Yeah, it's okay, no worries. But listen, at the end, what I care is that if you write the correct structure. Okay. Ya si se las puso mala porque escribieron capital or something, I mean, it's fine. But what is not fine is that you write an uh, incorrect word. So again, please, everybody, be careful with the spelling, okay? Another common error that I can find en el que varios se me están equivocando, everyone, is in the pronunciation of the verbs. Okay, I can see that that is one of the areas where most of you are making mistakes. So what does it mean? With this quiz, podemos identificar dos cosas en este quiz. Number one, that we need to practice writing. Okay, y cómo van a practicar writing on the platform. All right. The second thing that I can identify here in this exam is that definitely we need to practice simple past, specifically the pronunciation of the regular verbs. No todos salieron bien en esa parte. Ahí veo que algunos se me han equivocado en la parte de los regular verbs. So everybody, I highly recommend you to review this topic. On internet, you can find thousands of exercises related to that topic. So please try it in your free time, at least five minutes to practice it. Okay. Any questions about the exam, everybody? Questions, questions? No questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. Very good. Okay. Was it easy? 50-50? This surprise, I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like this surprise? Uh, come <laughs> on. And do you want to see the second part? Yes, yes. teacher. We want to see yeah, the second we part. Want to see. <laughs> I, I have uh -huh. only the problem with uh, business manufacturing, TV, packs, stores. And the bill and deliveries is di directly to customers. Mm -hmm. And that is the the point. Because 
delivers is directly to customer is 2 pl uh -huh. i thought it was 3 pl because uh, it has a business manufacturing tv packs stores uh, and deliveries yeah mm -hmm. and you know that that is uh, a trick you know of course. Uh, <laughs> it's like a, a little it, confusing remember yes, that in that one? i have a mistake the only the, uh, that, that, that was the that, only that one <laughs> yeah they, i know okay but, but I now, I, now I you was know. confused. Uh, yes, I know. Uh -huh. right. But now you know, and you won't make that mistake again. Yes. Uh, <laughs> All right. Very good, everyone. Actually, I feel very happy. Honestly, you did it great. Um, your scores were great. Uh, I have did a. Um, well, I have been in intermediate four before. Okay. And honestly, eh, ustedes han tenido de los mejores resultados cuando he hecho esta practice. Así que, I mean, feel proud of yourself. You are doing congrats, great. Congrats, congrats. Yes. Yes. Honestly, I mean, yes, guys. Y no les miento porque para qué les voy a mentir, right? <laughs> I mean, but you are doing great. De verdad que han tenido un buen score. Así que, as I mentioned before, my recommendation ah, sí. is practice typing. Porque creo que en el typing sí estamos fallando algunos, right? And practice the regular verbs in past. Porque también ahí estamos fallando. Así que those are the main observations for everyone. Yo sé que algunos tuvieron puntuación perfecta, but even though it's always good if you practice more. Now, we already have the theoretical quiz, okay? So now let's have the second part of the surprise. Let's have a speaking time, okay? Now, you have good scores in the theory, but now I want to see your speaking. Are you ready to speak, everyone? Yes. Only one says yes, oh my goodness. And the rest of you, are you ready to speak? Yes, we do. Yeah. I have. Yes. Okay. I have mute. I, I, I have mute. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, okay. I, now, I, I... we are going to talk about some of the topics that we have been practicing. <laughs> I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. Um, <clears throat> I have a little sore throat, so sorry. But well. In the previous class, if you remember, we studied some phrases to express for and against. Do you remember that topic? Yes? No? A little bit? <laughs> Not very well. well. <laughs> okay. Everyone and you? Can you tell me some phrases that we can use if I am for? Or if I agree, for example, if I say um, cold weather is the best. If you agree, what phrases can you say? I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Cold weather is the best. Absolutely. Mm, okay. What else? Another You're right. Phrase? You're, You're right. right. Everyone, what else? Mm. That's true. That's true. That's true. Okay. That's true. Now, imagine if I am against, if I don't agree. A hot weather is perfect. <laughs> uh huh. I don't think so. I disagree. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Okay. To be honest. Come on. Come on. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So we have different expressions. If you agree, these are some of the expressions that you can use. I agree, or I totally agree. But can I say I am, am totally agree? Can I say that? No. 
No, we don't need the verb no. to be, right? right? Now, if you don't agree, you can say these phrases. I disagree. I, I totally I'm disagree. Sure. <laughs> I'm not okay. sure about that. Mm, you must be joking. You must be kidding. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Okay. Sure Is it clear the expressions mm -hmm. that you can use? Yes. Everyone? Is it clear? Yes. And only it's one says yes. Okay, yes. let's have <laughs> a speaking practice. Again, I'm going to show you different topics. Give me your opinions and let's see if your classmates agrees with you or not. Okay, let's start with these topics. Uh, we have AI, daddy, driving. Um, so everyone, pick a topic, please. Driving? Driving, okay. Look at the question, everyone. Is 16 years old too young to drive? Yes or no? What do you think? Uh, I think it depends on if uh, uh, the 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 boy and the girl uh, has a good uh, is educated and uh, she uh, learned with a, a school uh, a, a, what's the name a drive a school. Uh, 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 they can learn uh, better uh, to know about the forbidden uh, uh, places or to drive correctly. But okay. uh, they are not uh, mature uh, because the young people they are sometimes they are uh, they are learning the life and they maybe they can pay attention on. Uh, destructive, how destructive with uh, the font uh, or music or I don't know. On uh, they can have a accident then. Okay, everyone, you listen to Santiago. What do you think? Do you agree with him or not? Tell me your opinions using the expressions. Go ahead. Teacher, in my opinion, it's all right. Uh, in the in the uh, in the sixteen year olds is is not responsible in the whole in the right because it's necessary the responsible that your parents in the the with the accident or or er, or er, uh, accident the in the right because uh, that the person is element the practice um in your dry is for me it's okay no problem it's okay if a 16 years old girl yeah. or boy drive a car yeah for remember this, uh, uh -huh. for the, uh, because it's no it's not responsible to hold the the job it's necessary that responsible your parent Okay. Remember that in this country, guys, the legal age to drive a car is 18. Right. When, you when you are it's 18, correct. that is the correct age. Yes. Anyone else? Tell me, do you agree with your classmates or do you have another opinion? Use expressions, disagree or agreement. What do you think? Yeah. The, no. Okay. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I, I agree totally that, in my opinion, uh, it's necessary because uh, the Jones, the help in the family, but that, that, young, that age, uh, the most are irresponsibilities. And so the, father, uh, the parents, uh, 
look the uh, details for the for the songs. Mm, okay. So yeah, right. Sometimes they are not so responsible, right? I mean, they are sixteen. <laughs> so right. well, some people may agree, some people may not. A controversial topic. Okay. In, the, in uh -huh. my opinion, in my opinion, opinion yes. is a uh, is a uh, depend is a uh, uh, is necessary is necessary the the is j. Uh, it's 16 years old. Uh, a drive for emers, emers, emer, emer, emergency, 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 emergency. Okay. I'm sorry. No worries. Repeat. Emergency. 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 That is the okay. one. Uh, Emergency, emergency, also. emergency. Uh, yeah, emergency. Emergency for for is a uh, accident. Is a uh, the the family is a uh, sick. Is a uh, mm -hmm. if you need to go to the hospital, for example. Yes, yes, uh, yes. A uh, uh, in in the in depend the case. Mm -hmm. uh, only only drive for for and in drive for for she uh, for he is not is not bad they is not responsibly mm, okay all right very good. Okay, thanks for your opinion, guys. Remember, we are in the speaking time, so I want to listen to everyone. I will be asking individually. Let's see. Let me pick someone. Da, 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 da. Lorena. Lorena, oops. Uh, give me a topic. Which of these topics do you prefer? Uh, organic. Organic. So, Lorena, is organic food better? What do you think? You are mute, Lorena. You are, yes, I cannot hear you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, absolutely, uh, organic food is better than the uh, other food um, because it's more, is healthier and is good for for all the age people. Mm, okay. Edwin, do you agree with her? Yes, I am. Why? Uh, because the organic food is uh, more health because they cultivate or cultivar, right? They plant. They plant uh, uh, without the uh, substance uh, nocives. Mm -hmm. I think. Okay, okay. And Carlos Dominguez, what's your opinion? Uh, teacher, depend the. Uh, in the process in, in cultivar teacher, repeat. Plants? The plants. Okay. Only that? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Try to give me details, everyone. Now, remember yes. guys, if I ask you, do you agree? I'm using the verb to be in that question. Do you agree? Uh, I totally, I totally agree with that. Uh, with uh, fruit and vegetables uh, uh, are healthier than others. Uh, produced with insecticides and uh, chemicals. Okay, but the only problem is that they are very expensive. 
Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> now look at the question, guys. Do you agree? If I ask, do you agree? Do I have the verb to be in this question? No. No. So if I say I am, is that correct? Like, yes, I am or no, I'm not? No, it's not correct. I, I totally agree with that. That is the reason I say. You can use the phrases, yes. I totally agree, or I simply agree. say, I do. I do, right? right? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. But remember, right. when we use agree, guys, we don't need the verb to be, no. okay? Right. And this is for everyone. Now, remember the comparatives? Can I say more healthy? And this is something that most people say, most or more healthy. It's healthier. Ah, it's healthier. very good. You see, Done. you remember. So be careful with the comparative adjectives. Let me pick someone else. Um, let's see, let's pick Rafael. Rafael, pick a topic, please. Um, let's talk about drones. Drones, okay. Are drones an invasion of privacy, Rafael? What do you think? I think it's, yes. Okay, but guys, if you give your opinion, let's try to use expressions to give opinions. Okay, so why, Rafael? I think it's a, uh, a, uh, invasion of your privacy because uh, the people who use uh, a drones don't ask for your opinion only only can dry her drones or his drones uh right it's fly that huh? fly this huh? mm -hmm. okay yes. all right wilbur what do you think wilbur Agree or disagree? Tell me one of the phrases. Uh, I agree with Rafael because uh, I would say uh, now uh, now the uh, wow. the people uh, wants to know what happens in each uh, uh, privacy uh, personal so it doesn't have to be okay okay yes. osman hernandez what's your opinion about it do you agree with your classmates or not sorry sorry teacher uh, uh i i didn't and i didn't be I, I I didn't listen. Oh, okay. But what's your opinion? What's your opinion about these questions? Are drones an invasion of privacy? What do you think? Uh, maybe uh, I agree. Why? Because uh, the people by a, a drone mm -hmm. uh, can send very tall okay very, tall very high very high very high okay. and then this this drone can see other size or other house houses okay yes definitely uh, and these houses maybe the maybe can be people may, making uh, may maybe doing things uh, <laughs> personal, <laughs> personal personal thing. personal <laughs> things yes okay that's a good reason everybody would you like to have a drone teacher i uh -huh. like in my Absolutely, opinion, yes. I agree. because the depend that use the 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 drone. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, uh, uh, I activity 
I activity the the recreation, for example, photographic, on video, and other activity, for example, in other country, and the uh, elaboration the figure in the in the in the fly, mm -hmm. is diversion, uh, it, the the invasion, uh, exact, exactly in this moment the the work of or, uh, other person, the investigation or activity that one person. This is a, a, is a invasion of privacy. Oh, okay. It, for me, for, or for example, the, the policy, the investigation in the night, uh, 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 the, for the, the exploration, uh, uh, exactly in the invasion of the privacy. For me, depends the use, the, the activity. Depends of how people use it. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. You are giving your opinions. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I agree with Osman. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I would like uh, wrong. Uh, I think uh, with them uh, get to help. I think. Okay. But, uh, um, I think the, the other person he will use and for uh, to invite to invade of privacy the persons. Yeah, it depends on the people, right? There are some people that they will use correctly, but there are other people that they well <laughs> they will do any kind of things. Very good. Okay, let's see the last topic for today. Um, Pamela, pick one of the topics, please. Um, shoes. Shoes, okay. Should animals be kept in shoes? Mm, what do you think? Um, I disagree with that mm -hmm. because uh, sometimes in the at the zoos, the um, the animals doesn't live a great life, and they are they need to be in in the in the wildlife. So I think uh, not maybe not in zoos, but maybe in. Um, I don't know how to say reservas naturales. Um, let me check because I don't know mm -hmm. how to say that. Or 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 like I I have heard about a sanctuary of elephants mm -hmm. in Thailand, so they live um, free, uh, but they are some people that. Uh, take care of them but no like in zoos mm. so I, I i i disagree with zoos okay so um nature reserves that's the way that you can say that nature okay. reserves okay. anyone okay let me ask uh, nelson tell me your opinion do you agree or not with uh, Pamela's opinion? I agree. Well, um, I'm not sure about it. Uh, honestly, uh, the animals uh, must be free. Mm -hmm. But uh, currently, uh, the life, uh, the will life, is uh, is a uh, danger extinction it's correct yeah okay but because the people the people are hunting uh, all of kind of animals in this case uh, could be uh, could be the animals mm -hmm. could be the animals um, in a sanctuary but um, 
without um, people, only animals. Ah, interesting. Okay. Uh, I disagree with okay. the uh, to keep to be keep, to keep uh, in so the animals. Why? Uh, because the, the, they are wild, exotic uh, animals, uh, and they need a special food and a specific food and a special care. Mm -hmm. And so... uh, but in poor countries, normally uh, they are treated treated uh, badly, uh, and uh, because they are not cared for. You can That's see true. another source in another countries on they care, on they uh, give a specific food for them. That's true. And, and, and the educated people in another countries, they don't uh, throw a, a, a junky food to them. All right. So you see, guys, you're giving your opinions. Now, let's be careful with the expressions. Remember that the idea, guys, I gave you a lot of expressions that you can use. But in the moment that you are giving me your opinions, not everybody is using the expressions, okay? You listen to your classmates. So basically the first thing that you can say if you agree or not. So you can say, hey, that's true. And then you can give your opinion. And I already gave you some expressions that we can use to express opinions. But in these moments, most of you said, I think. And that is the most common one, but we have more options. So please try to review the vocabulary guys and try to use other expressions. Okay, let's try to avoid only I think, please. In the following classes, when I ask you a question or when I ask your opinion, I don't want to listen, I think. No, let's try to use a different ones. If you don't remember those expressions, let's review the vocabulary. Understood? Yes? I got it. Understood. Yeah, Understood. Okay. Okay. Listen, Very well. si ese pequeño di, eh, questionnaire, I mean, si ese the opinion, giving your opinion, hubiese sido un speaking evaluation, ¿lo hubieran pasado? Yes or no, what do you think? Hey, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely <laughs> yes or definitely <laughs> not? Yes. <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> You are giving a good answer, I liked it, but observations, guys, and this is for everyone. Always, first of all, let's try to apply the vocabulary, okay? Because that's the purpose here in intermediate, aprender vocabulario, pero usarlo. Yo sé que si ahorita les pongo y les digo, okay, guys, díganme las frases para decir la opinión. Yo sé que ustedes empiezan a decirme las frases. Ah, no, yo sé que las saben pero no las estamos aplicando, right? Es como estamos hablando, pero se nos olvidan las frases y como ya estamos bien acostumbrados a usar el I think, that's the only one. Otro ejemplo, si les digo, díganme las frases de agree or disagree, yo sé que me las dicen, pero al momento de expresar la opinión, ¿cuál usamos? I agree, I don't agree, I disagree. So basically estamos usando las mismas. So in this moment for speaking, let's try to use the vocabulary, okay? And of course, give me details, as many details as possible. Um, as I always said, you have to pretend that for each question, you have to talk for at least one minute, okay? Ese tiene que ser como su goal, tratar de hablar por lo menos un minuto o más, in cada question, okay? But let's stop thinking about um, agree or disagree. It's time to speak, but now we are going to speak in simple past. Are you ready? 
to talk in simple past? Yes? I'm not sure. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you guys? Oh, but look at this one. She's using the expressions of uncertainty. Aha, uh -huh, guys, are you ready to talk in simple past? Okay, ready. <laughs> yes, thank you. I would say we can try it. <laughs> That's the attitude. That's what I want. I want you to try. When we are talking in simple past, we have time expressions. For example, we can say yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Eh, si yo digo tomorrow morning, is a time expression for simple past? What do you think? No, mm -hmm. it's future. Very good, that is for future. How about if I say today? Is that present. simple past? Present. No, it's present. present. No, it's simple present. So when we are talking in past, we have a specifically time expressions in past. So I can ask you guys, what did you do three years ago? <laughs> Let's see if you remember. What did Last. you do? Uh-huh. Past. Three years ago? Possible. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Do you remember? Se acuerdan que hicieron three years ago? Come on, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, okay. How about how about um an hour ago? What did you do one hour ago? That was easy. I was learning about new vocabulary. Okay. About about the English. Excellent, excellent. How and you guys? You? One hour ago? I did you the, the topic. Okay. How about um, let's see. One minute ago. <laughs> what do you do? I was listening to you. <laughs> Very good. I was thinking the answer. <laughs> <laughs> you see, excellent. Okay, let's practice some questions in simple past using those time expressions. I have here some questions. For example, what did you do? Oh, sorry, what did you eat for lunch yesterday afternoon? Okay, rules, rules. You cannot say, I don't know. I don't um, remember. <laughs> you cannot say these phrases during the practice. Si me dicen I don't know, o si me dicen I don't remember, asuman que es un punto menos, <laughs> all right? If you really, I mean, if you don't remember, invent, okay? If you don't remember what you had for lunch yesterday afternoon, invent, okay? But give me answers in simple past. Ahora, quiero oraciones completas. Si me dicen solo, ah, pizza, ¿creen que esa es una oración completa? Pizza. No. 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 Ah, yesterday afternoon. Oh, well, I ate pizza and I drank soda with my friends. They invited me because I didn't have money. Hasta ahí podría ser una respuesta completa. So, díganme qué comieron and tell me why. Understood? Yes? Yes. Lo mismo acá. What did you do? Ah, I danced at the party. Okay, why? Which party? So, try to give me as many details as possible. Got it? Yes? Got it. So, because I want to everybody talk, we are going to practice these questions in groups, but I will be listening. And later I will interview individually here in the main room. I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp's group, everybody. If your classmate doesn't remember the verbs in past, help them, okay? Please try to help them to say the verb correctly. 
Okay, everybody, enter to the breakup rooms, please, and practice. Let's go. Okay. okay, the first question. Um, what did you eat for lunch yesterday after? Wilbur? Okay. Uh, what did I eat for lunch? Well, uh, I ate for lunch. Uh, so a uh, bean soap, bean soap uh, with two tortillas and one soda. Uh, I was in Soyapango with my with my family. So uh, after that, we uh, we took a rest for all the afternoon. <laughs> okay. What about you, Elisa? Hello, Elisa. I don't know if he's he can listen us. A uh, Boris. Yeah, he's gone. Boris. Uh let me see. Um, yesterday, yesterday, I ate uh, a ate my lunch um, was was ate with bean and drunk coffee with my family in my house. Okay, what about you, Ulises? Ulises? Hello. Uh, I ate uh, fried chicken uh, with um use uh, as well tortilla and a few um how do you say kiss <laughs> cheese cheese yes cheese and and rice no more, only that. Amela. Okay. Um. Yesterday for lunch, I I ate some homemade hamburgers. Um. I came to to my home, uh, and cooked the hamburgers. With my mom, we put a, some cheese, some meat, tomato, and we we did some. We make some uh, French fries, <laughs> and that's what I ate yesterday. Okay, Boris. What did you What did you do last Friday? Miss about that. <laughs> Why? What do you do? No, no. not bad. Uh, so uh, last Friday at night, I went to 
to dance with my friends oh. as a... I only... You didn't come to only... class. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I got after you. After <laughs> the class. After the class. Ah, after the class. Okay. Yes. Yes, because the, the place is open uh, after 2 a.m. Um, we, we went to dance. That's only. Okay. Nice. And what about you, Anna? Um, yeah. In my case, uh, I stayed in my home. I uh, spent my free time in uh, activities on my house. This day, I watch clothes. And I share um, the time with my pets. I played with theirs. And I uh, stay in class. <laughs> 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 Only that. And you? Nice. Um, well, I connect to uh, um, AO Club or a class and after the class I I see a movie uh, by internet and after that I I check it my emails because I I was in meetings all the day and I have a possibly a 80 emails and I need to check out. Okay, and you, Santiago? Uh, I, I, after work, uh, I, I made some exercise at 5.30 p.m. and uh, after that, I ate uh, a sandwich with uh, with uh, uh, vegetables, and uh, and then I learned uh, a little. Uh, uh, I prepared the class for Friday, and then I learned uh, with uh, with uh, with all the guys uh, English too. Okay. And where, where were you and I went with my family in the afternoon. So uh, I returned later in my house uh, because I I had a uh, washing washing. Wash my wash my clothes uh, because uh, I I went to to bed at night later. And you? Hello, Carlos Dominguez. Carlos. Uh, okay. In my case, I was, I was, uh, looking or watching at at the phone. Then I read my Bible. Uh, every night I have a habit to read in the Bible because I want to know God more and I want to live for by your glory every day. Okay. 
Okay, the last one. Where did you live 10 years ago? Today, I went to my bed at um, 11 30 p.m. because uh, because I can't sleep. <laughs> I can't sleep. I don't know why. And the other reason, the uh, sound cool. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the sun cool. <laughs> no sé cómo. I don't know. Sun <laughs> cool. Uh, you can are... say just mosquito. Oh. Mosquito. Okay. The, mos the mosquito uh, are, was uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Pig? Pigmy? It's it's the correct. What are you trying to say? Uh, Picar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. I don't. I forget this word. I mean, you can say just bite because bite is como morder, right? Or picar. Uh -huh. So the mosquito bite me. Okay. Uh -huh. Me generaba confusión usarla justamente por eso. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the mosquito by me uh, almost all the night. <laughs> and if the main reason for I can't sleep, I mm, I could yes, sleep. I couldn't. I couldn't sleep yesterday. Sorry. Okay. Mosquito. Okay, Osman. Mm. We sing Provid. No, okay. that last night, the. Um, go to the bell of. Um, I, uh, I'm viewed. I viewed the, the play, the soccer final Gold Cup, Mexican Panama. Um, um, win the Mexican, I don't like you, because it's, it's lucky for your, uh, for, for country. All right, time's up. We are going to go back to the main room. Let's wait for your classmates. Time's up, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. All right, easy or difficult to practice? What do you think? Always difficult. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Salvador, what do you think? Mm, a little difficult. Okay, okay. Well, let's see. Some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. Uh, let's wait for them. No worries, guys. We are practicing. But if you see, we have improved. ¿Han mejorado un poquito o no? ¿Creen que están igual? What do you think? Mm -hmm. I believe that better. Okay, everyone, did you pass the exam? Simple pass, speaking, evaluation. What do you think? Si esas hubiesen sido preguntas de exam? I'm not sure about it. <laughs> You're not sure about it? Nah. And the rest of you guys? What do you think? Si ese hubiese sido un speaking evaluation, ¿lo pasan? Si o no? Yes. <laughs> yes, thank you, Carlos. He's the only oh, one who says yes. Donde está la confidence? Come on. Okay. Absolutely, absolutely. Ah, very good. Okay, no worries. We are going to continue practicing, okay? 
So unfortunately, we don't have more time, but we have a winner. <laughs> so Rafael Alexander, you are the winner for tonight. Congratulations, Congratulations. Rafa. <laughs> the rest of you, yeah. you can go to sleep. Have a wonderful night and Thank see you tomorrow. You. Have a good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Goodbye, goodbye. Ah, ya pasé Ay. lista, eh, Salvador. La pasé mientras estaban en los breakout rooms, así que no worries, ¿ok? Thank you, Tessa. Good night. Good night. Nice. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to take so much time. I know that you might be feel tired. This moment is just to clarify some questions that you may have about the class, about the platform, or any comment that you have. So mm, this is no. your moment. <laughs> Well, not really, because the question uh, what I have uh, was the problem with the 3.5 exercise, I guess. Oh, okay. And we reviewed in, in the last class. Yes. In, in Friday. Mm -hmm. mm, and okay, I, I finished the homework and I. I feel it's a uh, easy topics for this Ooh. module. Uh, the the last the previous model was very hard for me, but this model is better. Ah, that's good. You are improving. Por eso lo siente fácil because you are getting better. <laughs> and well, how I do hope. you feel? How do you feel the simple past? Ah, uh, it's a it's a problem. <laughs> I okay. don't like the topic and it's very hard for me. So that is a topic mm -hmm. that you need to practice more because you don't like yes. it. <laughs> okay. Um, with the verbs, regular verbs, pronunciation, how do you feel about it? Uh, it's complicated because for me it's uh, difficult because I don't uh, recognize the song. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for me, the, the song is is the same for the three verbs. Three, three <laughs> verbs. Okay. Three of verbs. Uh, All right. So in that case, yeah, it's with the practice. I, I mean, everybody feels the same. This is something that all of us has faced. So my recommendation is uh, try to review the topic on YouTube. There are videos that can help you and practicing. Practice. As I mentioned in the class, when you are answering, try to exaggerate the sounds. Se va a escuchar raro, right? Pero prefiero okay. que lo exageren. Es decir, hacerle como played, eh, wanted, watched. So, prefiero eso, que lo exageren para que sí se escuche y que ustedes mismos vayan como, hey, yeah, that is the way. And then with the time, it will sound more naturally. Okay, but try to okay. practice because if you feel that that topic is difficult, that is a topic that you need to practice more. Okay. Okay, thanks for the advice. Cool, no problem. Um, I don't know, is there any topic that you feel that is difficult or only the simple only pass right now? Only a simple pass. <laughs> okay. It's a problem for me. All right, okay, so mm -hmm. no worries. We are going to try to continue reviewing that topic maybe during this week because I think that your classmate also needs to continue practicing that topic, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Um, I don't know if you have any other comments or any other question. Um, not really is, I like your, your class is, it's different um, and I think it's, it's good that because uh, we need uh, different points of view and different pronunciations for improving. If we have a, a the same teacher all the time, uh, we can know uh, evolution. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent. So okay. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so I have good feedbacks for you. When you are in the class, I can see that you always participate. So that's good. I can see you have good attendance. So that's good too. Así que keep going, okay? Espero Thank que así you. se mantenga en lo que resta del curso. All right? Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Okay, Rafael, thank you so much for staying. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Have a good night too. Thanks. Bye-bye.